Good morning, Ripple family. It is a terrific Thursday, and I'm joined again by Mr. Peters and Dr. Fitzpatrick, and we're really excited to be here to welcome you to school today. Each of us has something spectacular to talk to you about. Me, I'm going to talk to you about the Avid Binders. We are a school-wide certified Avid school, which means all of us, even your teachers and administrators, are going to be doing things the AVID way. And I know that many of you have worked on your binder covers. Let me see which way this is. On your binder covers to talk about what it is that you want to focus on this year. And I want you to know that I have something I'm focusing on, and that is being organized. And I have made that a public statement to everybody so that the teachers can check with me every once in a while and say, say, Mrs. Edward, how are you doing with your goal of being organized? Teachers, I want you to know, look at this. I passed the shake test. I'm so excited. Yay. <laughs> so I'm working on getting organized and I'm doing a pretty good job. So students, we're going to come around and look at your Avid binders over the next couple of weeks and see what your focus is and to see how well you are with managing all that wonderful information. Dr. Dr. Peters, I'm sorry, Mr. Peters. I'll take it. What do you have to share with everybody today? We'd like to talk about cell phones. Some of the teachers came to me and they, they just had a question. Cell phones, can students have them in their pockets during class? The answer is no. no. Cell phones need to be in your backpack and turned off or on silence at all times. Again, cell phones have to be in your backpack turned off or on silence all the time. All the time. Dr. Fitzpatrick. All right, those of you for after school, we are starting our tutoring program. So if you're worried already or you're trying to make sure you get organized and get ready to be a model avid student, we're going to be starting registration and sending letter home. So get those letters home back to us because we're going to start on September 4th. And we're going to be doing a lot of hands-on projects this year. So it's going to be exciting. Awesome. Right. And sometimes, if you're like me, you put things off till the last minute. So maybe you should be on the front end of that and be a part of tutoring before you have to go to tutoring. I think oh, that might be idea. a good idea. Okay. Awesome. We are really excited to have a new school year starting. We like what we see in the hallways remember that you are in school to learn that is your job and it's all about the language and actions of employment so you're probably saying what does that mean well this is what it means if I see Mr. Peters or Dr. Fitzpatrick outside of school and we're doing an activity I would probably talk to them differently than I would in the workplace when we are in the workplace, we are very professional, we use a very specific language with one another, and we are very kind and gracious to each other. We also might joke around if we're outside of school, and we might laugh, and we might express ourselves with our hands, but we don't do that here at school. So students, it's very important to you, for you to know that this is your job, you're here to learn, and you have to use the language and actions of employment. I know you can do it. Students, remember to follow, follow the wave. Wave expectations. Just follow the wave expectations and right. don't fall off. Oh boy.